both live here. We've bailed. Find your next home. Browse from over 200,000 listings for rent and sale in the UAE. Download the app or visit bayute.com. We got Fibber Ahmed in the studio with us, Director of Sales, Dubizel and Bayute. Morning, Fibber. Morning, Richard. Let's talk about rich people because we're going to get more of them. You were listening to our conversation a few days ago with Philippe from Henley and Partners. Yes. They're the guys who do. Um, help you get a visa or a passport or a second nationality and their forecast is another four and a half thousand new millionaires in dubai this year not billionaires but millionaires and you were listening and you picked up on that why did you pick up on that it's interesting you would bring that up um we have been looking at the data and uh, since the beginning of the year we've been talking about how hot the market is who is buying um, and one trend that has been really really evident this year has been how um, new people are entering the market and there is a certain segment which is very very keen on moving to dubai which is the millionaire group um but we, not not billionaires billionaires we, we are, talk, we've talked about billionaires a lot before but now we're on millionaires we're talking millionaires because they all start somewhere don't they <laughs> before they become the billionaire. So um, the trend this year has been very active in all segments, but one segment that has really picked up is how everybody is looking to make this their primary residency. Um, we have looked at uh, surveys where about 830 high net worth individuals, um, they are looking to make Dubai their primary residence. Um, and they w are very keen in investing here and live here for long term as compared to previous years where they were looking to make this a holiday home or something that would come for a vacation or just for the investment purposes. So I think when you look at overall how this um, country has shaped up over the last couple of um, years after the pandemic with all the initiatives, with all the uh, tax incentives, the visa policy um, and the infrastructure announcements and the enhancements, it is certainly a place where a millionaire would like to come and then use this land of opportunity to become the next billionaire. And so if they're moving here, then that changes dramatically what you're going to buy. Because if you live in, I don't know, Mumbai or London and you want to place a holiday home in Dubai, you're going to buy something probably on the palm or with a beach view. You only need a couple of bedrooms and that's fine. But if you're moving here and you've got three kids, suddenly you need something a lot bigger and it needs to be near schools so you're probably looking more inland are you seeing that change i would say in this segment we're seeing all uh, sort of demand um the seafront the waterfront living has not really died down people have options of uh, buying bigger penthouses bigger apartments the um one million us dollar mark can get you five times a bigger property here in dubai as compared to london so you really don't have to be in a villa if you have young kids um apartments penthouses are a great option for these millionaires you can all also um, look at some uh, super luxury villa communities. Dubai Hills has turned out to be something which people are really preferring because of the strategic location. Um, it's quite central. It's close to schools. It's close to your um, corporate hubs, your it's, DIFC. It's got the duck hook. It has everything that you um, want to have in your day-to-day uh, -day life, and especially the weekends. So uh, there is a vast majority of options available, really depending on what stage of life you're in and what you're looking to get out of it. And uh, keep in mind, these millionaires are not only in for the ROI. They have a lot of other um, elements that they look at. They also have the peer um, competition going on where my neighbor bought or where the next millionaire on the list bought in Dubai. So there is a little bit of that. And of course, the um, ease and the location of the property that they bought. What about the Northern Emirates, Fibber? What, what data are you seeing from Dubizel and Bayut about that? We've, for example, just been giving away uh, around the golf at the um, Oberoi community, Al Zora, in the Northern Emirates, only about half an hour away. We know Dubai is the hot market at the moment, but are we seeing spillovers into the likes of Sharjah, Ajman, maybe even further afield? 
I think you brought up a very interesting point. Um, Dubai still has a lot of land that it can build with all, with all the new announcements that we've been hearing. Imara announced another community coming up. There's plenty to be built here and Dubai is always going to be the uh, preferred place of investment, especially for people that are moving into Dubai and the UAE. However, I think uh, Sharjah over the last couple of years has announced some very interesting initiatives with some free zone areas coming up. Um, and then they have water front areas to explore. So definitely Sharjah, Ras Al Khaimah is going to um, see some spillover with regards to how people want to set up their life. Are they really looking for the hustle and bustle of the high life in Dubai or are they looking to settle down in a more spacious and a more serene area of um, Sharjah next to the lagoons or the waterfronts? Um, Ras Al Khaimah I think is going to be super exciting to look forward to in the next um, couple of years um, with announcements of wind resort um, and of course Abu Dhabi with 200 islands has a lot to offer so yes the expansion is going to be across all Emirates. I remember someone in, in Ras Al Khaimah who worked in real estate there and I, 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 I can't remember exactly who it was, I think I know who it was but I'm not going to mention his name, uh, saying we would like Ras Al Khaimah to be the Hamptons of the UAE. So the, the Hamptons is the the, the the posh holiday resort just outside New York where people go about an hour away. And, and Rassel Khaimah can be, among other things, the Hamptons for people in Dubai. Realistic? Absolutely. Why not? Even for the locals that live here over the years, um, small breaks, staycation, you go to Ras Al Khaimah, you have the golf courses, you have the beautiful water, all the developments, and it's relatively serene. So yes, you would want to take your kids so that you can play around a golf and then they can have a nice uh, day out at the pool. And then in the future, there'd be a lot of entertainment in that area. So why not? I think Ras Al Khaimah certainly has the potential uh, to become the Hamptons of uh, this region. So um, well, I know we ask you this every couple of weeks when you come in. Um, I'm not expecting a different answer. Any signs of a slowdown yet? I, I can't see them. What's one of our top stories today? Dubai off-plan property sales more than doubled in May compared to a year earlier. This cannot go on forever, Fipper. but what are you seeing? Interesting, Richard, if you um, you mentioned your story from uh, last week about 4,500 millionaires looking to move here. I was listening to Andrew a little while ago. He was talking about how the banking sector is going to pick up. And these are uh, just two elements that we've touched on. Uh, people are looking to move here. People are looking to take advantage of the safe haven status. And as long as the population is going to continue to grow and the leadership has the infrastructure, the funds and the vision to make it the city of the future, uh, we don't see any signs of this slowing down at least this year, the year after, or the next couple of years. Finally, let's talk about the, the, the lower end of the market, the more affordable end of the market. It hasn't seen anything like the boom that luxury has over the past two or three years. What are you seeing there? The um, affordable segment or the mid-segment, as we like to call it, has its own um, audience, has its own needs. I think it has certainly benefited from the high rents that have um, hit the market over the last uh, year or so. People who are tired of paying exorbitant amount of rents are looking to go into being first-time homeowners. So I think that area has uh, benefited. There are certain segments that have seen some uh, modest growth in prices, but then there is option for everybody here. So there is activity in that segment, certainly the high ROI segment, and also for people to live there, whereas the luxury is the uh, talk of the town these days. I'm going to let you go, Fibber, because I know there's a lot of work to be done before you head off on your holidays for Eid al Adha. But for now, thanks very much indeed for joining us this morning. Fibber Ahmed is the Director of Sales, or the yes, Director of Sales at Dubizzle and Bayut. Thank you. Dubai Eye 103.